looking at this idea of the genetic code, some questions came up earlier this morning. Um, what do uh, the genes have to do with this? Again, much like the theories on the brain, epigenetics is a relatively new science coming up very quickly. Just some essentials. The genetic code for us as individuals was thought to be fixed, unchanging, hardwired. Now, people are saying, wait a minute, it's not quite the full picture. There are tags or chemical messengers that are coded into the genes that actually are almost like a layer of software. And what they can do is change genetic expression or genetic suppression. That just because you have a certain gene, perhaps a propensity for breast cancer, BRCA1 or 2, doesn't mean that you're going to come down with cancer. Just because you have a particular gene, uh, a hereditary trait that increases probability of a certain disease, it is not necessarily true that that is going to happen, especially if you can realize that there may be practices that can literally alter your gene map. And that is precisely the kind of research that is happening now at UCSF, at Columbia, and other places, showing that, indeed, practices like yoga, meditation, essential mindfulness practices can literally alter your gene map.